Okay, so I'm sure you guys have seen on the forums, if you're in any of the groups, you've seen the whole vector things, vectors versus, um, versus what Procreate does, which is not vectors. Vectors are completely different. It's a completely different, they're completely different programs, and they're not one-to-one -one comparable to Procreate because some of the things you want to do in a vector program, uh, you won't be able to do in Procreate, like resize infinitely. And there's a lot of things that you can't do in a vector program that you can that you can do in Procreate. Procreate is more like painting or drawing, things like that. So Procreate is more for your your regular artist, uh, whereas vectors is more for a design sense. Uh, you'll have to learn it from the ground up. You can't just you can't just take a Procreate thing and turn it into a vector. It's not like a file type or anything like that. You have to learn that system from the ground up. But the good thing is, is you can do it in, you can make logos, you can make images that work on t-shirts and everything right in Procreate. I do it all the time. So I'm going to show you some tips and some tricks to make it more proficient, to make it more uh, clear and crisp. And that way you don't have to learn a whole new program. That being said, if you, if you do want to do vectors professionally, if you want to do them a lot, if you want to do a, a lot of logos for your friends and you really are into that kind of thing, learn a vector program. There's nothing that's going to compare to a vector program. You should definitely learn it. But if you're like me, you just like to do it for social media, uh, for T-shirts, um, just for things like on the, the print-on-demand services, Redbubble, TeePublic, which is what I use. You don't, need to, you don't need to learn a new program. You can do it all in Procreate. I promise. Okay, so I'm going to clear this, uh, get rid of this layer, and we're going to start. So I'm going to make something with Procreate for beginners. So I'm just going to start out by adding text. And I'm just going to do hashtag, uh, not procreate, um, summer school, summer school, all caps, summer school. I don't know what, what uh, font I'm going to use yet, but for now, we'll just leave that there. We'll make it a little bigger just so you guys can see it clearly. Okay. So we have our summer school. Uh, maybe we want to put a uh, sort of a, uh, an iPad since we all have our iPads. So I'm not really sure how to do rounded rounded corners. So I'm going to do a Oh, let me start let me let me start out slower. So I'm just going to go to the selection tool here, this little ribbon, and I'm on rectangle. And that way it just makes a rectangle. So I'll make our rectangle here. And then what I'm going to do is um this might work. I'm going to go to feather, which is down here. And it has a mount, and I'm just going to increase that until it's has a rounded edge and then I'm going to fill it so you, it's it's we have the round edges but you can see that it's that it's a little um, like a gradient around the edges which we don't want so I'm just gonna duplicate this I'm gonna merge down I'm gonna duplicate it again merge down I'll duplicate it again and merge down and I'll duplicate it one more time just to be sure. So in order to make this outline, I'm just going to duplicate this. So now I have two, now I have two red blocks and I'm going to go to the color of the background. I'll just color pick the background and I'm just going to fill the, the top block. And then I'm going to take the, uh, the selection tool or the transform tool. The little arrow is the transform tool. Make it a little smaller. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so that's pretty decent. Uh, one thing that you can do is you can you can tap on the outside and it'll move it ever so slightly. You, it'll it'll nudge it. So I, it looks like that the borders are all the same. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go to freeform down here. And I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. And I'm going to bring this one up a little bit. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now I'll, I'll just tap the transform tool again to get out of it. So now we have this layer. This looks like the background, although it's just a block on top. So I'm just going to hit, I'm going to tap on that layer, 
hit select. And now I'm going to go to our red layer. I'll just tap on the screen to get rid of the menu. Three finger swipe down and cut. So now what we have, I can just, I can get rid of this, that beige block. So now we have our iPad. So I'm going to go ahead and try to, I'm going to do these, um, this little bar up here. So it's always good to change the background to the, the color of uh, whatever you want the shirt to be. I feel like a paintbrush would look cool. Uh, I don't. I'm not really sure how to draw a paintbrush, and I don't feel like looking it up because sometimes I just don't feel like looking things up. Let me Google it. Let me Google it. Paintbrush. You know what I can do? I just I just realized an easier way to do this. Get out of here. I'll just use the ellipse tool. This is sort of, th this will be sort of our journey, which is onwards and upwards. So I just want to make a, a, a nice pattern, but I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to make sure I make these nice and crisp. So these will be our, our pangolin scare, scales, our armor as we grow and get better as artists, as we continue to move onwards and upwards. Okay, I like that. I think that looks, I think that looks interesting. I'm going to flatten everything. I'm going to make a duplicate of it. And now I'm going to use my eraser and use my erase brushes, uh, which are just, you know, pretty much Procreate brushes. Artist Crayon. Just add some grit to it. Add some add some scratches to it. Maybe some flicks. And there we have it. I'm happy with it. I like it. So I will put this on. I will put this on uh, T Public. I'll put it on some shirts. Uh, feel free to get yourself a hashtag Summer School shirt, and you can see it'll it'll print exactly like this. Here's the here's the details. It looks good. The shirt that I the shirts that I just made. I always do this like texture thing. It looks really good. I really I really like it. Okay, so. I'll put this on a shirt. This is the first video. Got a bunch more. This was supposed to be really quick, but that's what happens. Uh, take the time. Uh, my canvas is 3,000 by 3,000 pixels, 300 DPI. Uh, always draw big for your uh, for your logos. And uh, yeah, let's slap this on T Public. Okay, so the design is finished. I just wanted to show you the actual steps that I do to put it on a shirt. So first, I'm gonna 
get rid of the background color. So I'm, I unchecked the background. So now we just have our clear PNG. So I'm going to go to the wrench. I'm going to share PNG and I'll just save it to my iPad. Okay, so now I'm going to go to T Public. I'm already logged in. Upload a design. Keep drawing. I will see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you want to see more content like that, then follow me on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, all Drug Free Dave. And also, if you want more in-depth structure tutorials, then definitely check out my Skillshare. I have about 11 Skillshare classes now. You can use the links below and get two weeks free. And in those two weeks, you can take all of my classes for free. So of course, as always, keep drawing and I'll see you in the next video.